of South of Marco, dish out on the movies. And guess what? We're back to TV again, and we're doing the latest episode of the Master Chef season. Twelve. Wow. Back to win. Can't believe it. So anyway, tonight was this is, desserts. This is episode eleven. And I think, and the title is not important at all, as it turns out, because, you know, they don't re really even put much effort into the titles, as we've seen with, like, that one where they call it Gordon Ramsay Loves Vegans. Like, ooh, what a terrible That's title. That's horrible. That's really weird. Uh, if I were a vegan, I think I'd be offended, too. I just don't. Well, vegans are offended about everything, so who yeah, cares? I know, but I know they're uh, stupid. This episode, I don't know, like, what's the title, like, what should be the title? Like, maybe, uh... Desserts can be... Des... Des... Orden... Ertz... Ram... Z. What do you think of that one? Or oh, no. Let's just talk about put, the episode. Put a spoon in the sugar bowl. <laughs> well, we know why the person who was uh, evicted uh, was taken out is because they they had to cool their a lot. Of, it was desserts, so most of the desserts, I'd say 99%, had layers of some kind and so you had to eat do each one separately and this person um accidentally now i don't know you know i didn't look but apparently they have a thing called the blast chiller and that that's supposed to quickly cool something and it sounds it freezes like, stuff uh and then they have a regular like refrigerator and somebody had a crust to do. And they had to cool it down in order to get the filling in because if it was hot and they put the filling in, it would ruin the filling. A, you know, and it was a very simple dessert. and something that somebody had made a million times. So that this was very frustrating. Sophie. They, they accidentally put their Sophie. crust... In the blast chiller. Safi, why do you keep on jumping the gun well, for I'm everything? Well, I'm just telling you that... But it's, it's it irrelevant was, right now. It was something... It, We're trying almost, to review the episode. Almost every dessert had layers. Uh, so cares? it was very complicated. we got to review the, the episode now. Well, the desserts were very complicated. Stop and jumping most, the gun. Most of the contestants were frazzled. Stop jumping the gun, most Safi. Of them. Okay, Stop well, it. Stop it. Let's just, let's do Okay, let's, well let's, let's talk about let's, let's, the beginning. What let's happened do, let's, at the beginning? Let's do a real review, stop it. Let's oh, not okay, let's Marvel. not just uh put a half effort like you do all the other reviews. Uh you know, that's why you're about to be sent home. Because of <laughs> okay, your Okay Mark, I'll start the review then. You're accidentally putting this review in the blast chiller. Uh well, as, as we've seen on many other MasterChef seasons, especially MasterChef Junior, mm -hmm. on, on these many other seasons, the contestants are not fully rounded chefs. You yeah. know, they know how to make meat, and they know how to make vegetables, but they don't know how to make desserts. Which and is kind of weird. That's for damn sure. Like, you see at all these restaurant takeover challenges... They what do, what do they do? They don't even make dessert. They don't no even way. show that. The only thing they do is like, sometimes they've like gotten pre-made desserts out and they serve those, but they never actually make them themselves, because mm -hmm. it's too hard for them apparently. And well, they have a special chef usually, but maybe they bring them in from other. A nearby bakery but or something. These chefs are not fully rounded chefs, just no. like usual. And so, whenever you have a dessert episode, they all freak out. They all, uh, not only freak out, but they, they just make the stupidest decisions. Like you guys thought that the Ethiopian food last week, you thought that that was bad, 
It really wasn't, by the way. Uh, you thought that was bad. Well, this was even worse. Some of the decisions that people made. Now, these were decisions the contestants made. Yeah. Not the judges had absolutely nothing to do with it. In fact, they even, if they thought the decision they made to make whatever dessert it was, they even would say something and they were like, oh, ooh, eh. They went around to the contestants having the most problems and they, they helped them all. And then the, the person or people who took their advice stayed there, the competition. And we saw that with one woman, especially uh, Brandy, because she was making <laughs> macarons. <laughs> Terrible choice to make those. But not just macarons. She had to make it into a tree. It not only had to taste and be of the consistency. You have to have a stupid dessert. tree. It had to have all the desserts had to have the same professional look. Like remember that donut tree from Master yeah. Chef Junior? Yeah. Where they yelled at that the slob for uh well, not he was having eating them all. No, he was. Yeah, he was. He was just going, mm. He was he was sampling <laughs> the supply. <laughs> and he, he didn't have uh, the full tree, and so they sent him home, and it just felt like, eh, that's kind of a weak reason to send someone home. Yeah. And with uh, with this, she, her macaroons were cracked. They didn't look very good. She had started another raft of macaroons, too. To replace them. And instead like 36 of, or something. Instead of doing that, Chef Gordon told her, no, I, instead of doing that, you should just put the ones you already have on the tower. Yeah. Because it's better to have something than to have nothing. Right. And you just don't have time. And guess what she did? She listened to him. And she did that. And she got to stay. She didn't even get in the top three worst. Mm -mm. I mean, the bottom three worst. So, it just shows you maybe sometimes uh, the contestants who listen and they take the feedback in the same way that these filmmakers need to take feedback. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's always a good thing to do that. Well, she was just, for some reason, she just froze and got frazzled, but most of them were. Most of them, I'd say just a few out of a whole group of contestants that are still competing, they were just like, it was like they were taking a test and they just froze and they just couldn't do anything. It was like it they was were, odd. no Safi, it was like they were all forced to do brain surgery on people. Well, some of them, I mean, the one who got sent home, that person makes this all the time at home. Yeah, yeah, that was funny because... That was weird. He knew how to make it, so that, that was weird. But it was a mistake. Remember, he he did that mistake, and it probably just completely threw him off. It really did. His game. So yeah. this, this was a classic episode where all the chefs, they got to choose what dessert they could make. Because but yeah, even the guy who won last week and got his immunity pin, he was the... He, stood there and then uh he stood he there did, and he said didn't he say okay, okay so he I'll picked see. out who was next yeah. to to pick but he didn't pick for them he just picked the person who was it was their turn yeah he, he decided the order of picking right, right and it was so hilarious because he he picked two out of the you know he's black and, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, obviously, but it was funny because he picked the two out of the three black chefs to go first so that they could get preferential treatment. And then it was hilarious because uh, Shelly, who's one of them there, uh, she picked the hardest dessert to make. And it, you could tell it was. <laughs> and, he, and he, like, did he face palm when she did that? Like, he was kind of like, ooh, that was a really bad decision and it, it was it was a terrible decision <coughs> well she said that she wanted to get she said she doesn't make desserts at home 
and I think her daughter must be diabetic or something. But anyway, because there's something about her daughter every that time she your, mentions her. Every your mom, time. your mom's diabetic. So but anyway, she says I never make desserts at home, and I picked this because she wanted to show them, prove to them that she wasn't afraid of a challenge. I think it was just too much of a challenge. Yeah. For somebody, I mean, he doesn't make desserts at all. So it was funny so. how he gave her preferential treatment, and then she, yeah. she screwed that up anyway. He was flabbergasted, <laughs> to be sure. The other person did, okay, he didn't, he wasn't picked to be good or bad. He was it floating in the he middle. He picked some sort of a chocolate cake. And he did a good job on it, but there was one thing that happened where on um, one of the cakes he had perfect chocolate shaving garnish on it. And then on the other one, he put store-bought chocolate mm. garnish on there because the, the other batch of the chocolate did not work. And so that's what I'm saying about this stupid three-plate thing that they have to do it's, a, it's so stupid because why should he get penalized for, for for screwing that up when he made the first chocolate garnish perfectly on one of them like that's just stupid it's and so they dumb they didn't punish him the thing about this this dessert challenge they did not have to do three plates because they were making cakes they did and two though they did two things two two dessert, they did two cakes, or two pies, or two tarts. Did they? Yeah, that's why I he put the, that. that's why he put the chocolate garnish on one of the store bought on the other, so uh, I think that was them. Well, at least it wasn't a free thing, I guess, but I mean, they had so much cake, like in a big cake. And Chef made... Gordon, Chef Gordon came over and he said, I would have rather if you not put on anything than put on store-bought. Yeah. And it's like, fuck off with that shit. Like, we all know that that would have been a huge criticism. Oh, like, yeah. ooh, you're missing something. Ooh. Because he did it right in the other case. Or it, 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 it wasn't just all about him. It was about just didn't, something didn't work out right. The chocolate garnish. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it wasn't all about him doing something bad, but he did that on purpose or because he had a brain infarction or something. It just didn't work out. Yeah, look, it's not like last week where he where, uh, he made shrimp rolls with uh, peanut gravy on top, Ugh. like a certain other contestant the group. Ugh. Sophie, do you know which contestant I'm talking about? No. Yeah, I think you do. Whatever. Let's just keep moving along. No. So, all the chefs had trouble. You had three in the top. Of course, one of them was Dara. She won the whole thing, which was hilarious because last week they sent home Shane for being 18. And in this week it felt like they had to make up for that so that they don't seem ageist. <coughs> And so they purposefully gave Dara the the award, yeah, the immunity this, pin. This was a this was a challenge for her that wasn't too hard because she had gone and done special pastry training. She's done it before. Yeah, but still, she it wasn't Chinese food. It was actually something she had training to do. So she actually has had training to do pastries, desserts. So, and it did look good. At the top three, I, I thought it was very hard for the judges to pick because they all did an excellent job. It looked good, but the one thing that I didn't like about her cake, which she had to replicate, she didn't have a choice. Right. But on the top of it, you had these blueberries that were cut open. Yes, that was a valid sliced, sliced blueberries, and uh, those are going to rot really fast. Right. Because last year, or I think two years ago, I can't remember. Uh, last, year. Yeah, because, last year. Because this year you've got a different one. But last year, Safi got a strawberry cake for her birthday. And it was very, very good. It was very delicious. 
had strawberry cake with chocolate ice cream. It was very good. But there were these sliced strawberries on top. And they rot. They rotted after a couple of days. And we were still getting through the cake. Right. And so we had to take off these moldy, rotten strawberries from the cake. Yeah. Because they, they had gone bad while everything else was just fine at the moment. So when I saw those sliced up berries, I thought, ooh. Like it kind of gave me a little bit of a stomach ache because I just think, you know, those are going to rot really fast. Yeah. That's a valid complaint. Especially Dara's blueberries. <laughs> well, did their, did their cake, the Master Chef people, did, was yeah. their cake, did they have sliced? Yeah. See, they ought to know better. So she had to replicate them. And yeah. Her blueberries are going to rot really fast. You know what I mean? And so, uh, <laughs> uh, and then who are the other top two? Oh yeah, the Spice Queen, she did a really good job, as usual. Yeah, she's really good at doing that. And of course, Joe came up. It was so hilarious, because Joe is doing, he's still doing the the, the crybaby uh, thing, where he walks around being dramatic, and shaking his head at people, and she's just giving them him. looks, and... It's funny because he came up to her and he's like, do you think that this is a good dessert? And she's like, yeah, I do. And and he's just like, like he like raised an eyebrow and then left. And she's just like, like she doesn't care at all because like she, I don't know if she knows or not, but he's so biased against her. It's not even funny. And so I thought that that was hilarious. Like he was so biased and. And then they picked her, and both other judges said great things about her dish. Oh, I know. They were loving it. They thought, oh, my God, amazing. But then when it came to Joe, he <laughs> said, it's good, but it's not as good as ours. And it's like, wow. Wow, what a jerk. Moving the goalposts once again. Like, every time with, with the Spice Queen... He's always trying to move the goalpost with her of like, yeah, it was good, but it wasn't that. It was that, but it wasn't that. <laughs> and it's like, Joe, I can pull up a clip right now of you doing, trying, attempting to do yoga next to a little girl, Master Chef Junior. And then you fell over and knocked everything over and looked like an old fool. So I, I just, just stop. Just stop trying to be cool, because you're not cool, and you're not, uh, you're not, uh, anything. Like, what did you think of that, Sophie? He's like, it's, it's not as good as our That was very petty. cake. That was petty. It's good, but it's, it's not as good as ours. Like, uh, okay. I didn't like that. Okay, Joe. We all know that, uh. You've got, I don't know, like, does, has he always had this type of anti-Middle Eastern bias? Like, I don't know. Have you ever, like, well, with that... they haven't had that any Middle Eastern You know, with that terrorist from that one season, you know, Courtney? No, she doesn't. The one who said her food was the bomb? <laughs> that was pretty funny, Sophie. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I... Uh... <laughs> well, I don't have that many. And she sounds so American. She, I mean, I, I know she's a little dark, you know, I mean, she has the little uh, head scarf and everything. But she did, she, I, I thought she did the best job, so. She did an excellent job, and, and they, she's very calm about it. And she says something about, doesn't she make this with her daughter all the time? Yeah, and they, they purposefully picked Dara because she's 18, and so they wanted to seem like, Ooh, we're we're not ageist. Wink, wink. Yeah. Uh, who was, was he, the other person? Though? It was the guy with the beard. Oh yeah, the one Ma everybody. Liked. Michael. Yeah, I didn't know his name. Michael. He was uh, he had something to prove because I guess in his previous season he got first place. 
well, he got first place in the baking challenge, Safi. He mentioned that. Yeah, but there was something. Well, I guess he couldn't get any worse than that. That was it. Yeah, and he made ricotta cake. And he did a good job. Yeah, it was uh, both. All three were really good. There and, was a very weird moment, Safi. You want to talk about that moment? Me, go ahead. Well, it was, I don't know what it was. It was kind of weird. It really, like, stuck out, especially to Safi, because she was like, ugh. And basically what happened was the Spice Queen said that she would be happy if Dara won, and then Dara mm -hmm. said she'd be happy if the Spice Queen oh, won. Oh, yeah. And, and it's like, oh, well, no, no, neither of you would be happy if Michael won, because he's a man or something. I don't, I don't understand that. Like, that's what it felt like. It's like... I know, I'm oh, not easily like that's, that either. That's weird. But, you know, if her... I, I don't know. There might have been a problem at home if she would show any favoritism towards a male or something. I don't know. Really? I, I, don't, I just don't know. I, I thought that was there odd. There wouldn't be I a mean, problem for that. Dara. No. Well, Dara, that's the young female. The ones that uh, are really into this dis reverse discrimination. Yeah. Um, the thing is, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I was struck by that because he he seems like a really nice person. And he, he was just... Everybody likes him. Like in the group challenges, they don't mind if he takes... Uh, he's going to be the leader, like... He takes over somebody's weak need performance, and they have to have a leader. And uh, he was just casually standing there, yeah. like smiling. And then right next to him, these these biatches are like, "I'd be happy if you won. Oh, I'd be happy if you won." He's <laughs> like, Gee, like, like oh, wow. He didn't say that, but you can just tell, like, what the hell? That, that was weird. So. Yeah, I didn't like that. I was kind of shocked. I thought that was really rude. Yeah. And then, uh, after, the, okay, the bottom three, uh, that's Those what I have to say about three. the bottom three. Those were the top three. The bottom three were... First you had off, Tommy. You had Tommy! He made some kind of lemon tart. Right? He made a lemon meringue tart, and it's supposedly his his husband's favorite dish. That's what he said. Favorite dish, and he picked it, and and he made a big mistake, where he he accidentally put his crust in the blast chiller, yeah. and so it was ruined. It was terrible. And it was a disaster, and it was raw. So it was a complete mess. Yeah. And it was surprising that he did poorly on that, since he makes it all the time. Yeah, I guess when you put it in a blast chiller and it gets cold that fast, when you take it out, the crust cracks and actually breaks apart. Because it's hard. Yeah. And so... What, what you had intended on doing was you wanted the crust cool, so then when you put the filling in, which is meringue and everything, it would melt and be ruined. So that was the point of him doing that. And he, there wasn't much time left, and he tried to repair it. The meringue was strange, too, because he didn't pipe it right. Yeah. So that was also messed up. It was kind up. of watery or something. It, it usually meringue is thick and full, and not not even close. It was very runny and thin and. And then who was the next loser? Uh, Bree, right? Ugh. This was Brie. this is a girl. He, she's kind of like a perfectionist Ugh. to the point you, you see all these other people. I mean that guy. The guy, the, the, in the three top people, he had like all these different layers of different cakes to make. And, you know, it, he was just at representing everybody else. Everybody's hurrying along. But she's like stirring like 
you know, just really slowly. And Sophie, do you, do you think... Cuts the strawberries every speaking, time so slow. Speaking of cutting, Sophie, do you think if you cut Brie open, she would be vanilla on the inside, too? Yeah, maybe. Because she's that, she's that vanilla. Like, she, she was so bad. And she was just as bad as last week. Yeah. And, and so they're still keeping her there. This week, she, she made a big boo-boo, as usual. We call them a blonde boo-boo, because blondes make a lot of boo-boos. Right, Sophie? Like, no. you, you know, your former roommate in college? No. She was a blonde. She made big boo-boos, too, right? Uh, so yes, yes, this blonde yes. Bullshit. you call them blonde boo boos, and so uh, Bree made some blonde boo boos, and she picked the strawberry pistachio tart, which sort of made me want to throw up in my mouth a little bit just thinking about like, ooh, that sounds gross. She picked it though so that she could show off her precise cuts. Yeah. In her precise, like, uh, plating and arrangement and everything. But what was funny was she, she had a terrible sloppy arrangement. Like, it looked sloppy and all over the place. Which is kind of weird. It's, it's like she's being a hypocrite of her own self. So she chose it for, for that reason. And then that reason is why it was terrible. And it was also pretty raw. Oh yeah, the the dough was completely. It's like it didn't cook at all, which I didn't understand that. And and Gore, Chef Gordon came up to help her, and and she said, <laughs> "Thanks, Gordon." And then she just kind of ignored what he said. <laughs> oh, that was bad. And so she got to the bottom three, and Aaron didn't like her too. Aaron, you know, he was kind of like picking at her. And my theory is that last week, Chef Aaron, he wanted to send home Bree, and he wanted to keep Shane. That's my theory. Right, Safi? Yeah. It's you, just, uh, she's just so, she's so slow. Yeah. And I, I know she wants to do everything just right, but she, she's, if she wants to be a master chef, she can't do it like that. Well, maybe she'll prove everyone wrong and go to Harvard to become a lawyer. I right, Safi? <laughs> like, legally <I> blonde. <laughs> yeah, but the, she was actually smart. Yeah, right, Safi. Yeah. Have you seen the movies Reese Witherspoon is in lately? No. Not very well, smart. I just watch those and... Like, have you ever heard of a Wrinkle in Time remake? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, ooh, God. Ooh. Ooh. What a failure. Uh, what happened, though, was that the other two chefs, they kind of didn't like her dish, but Joe... What? Joe really loved the taste of her cream. Oh, yeah, he really... He, he said, Oh! In a run? Breeze uh, cream tastes great! Oh! In a run, did not like it either. And then Chef Ramsey said, I would really respectfully have to disagree with both of my fellow chefs. In, in, all, in all respectfulness, her dish sucks! That's what he said. But what was funny was that you you know what Joe meant by that, yeah, right, Safi? He has a thing for, you know, uh, he acts like he Breeze does. cream tastes great is just code for, uh, I think that Bree is pretty, and and I think that she's prettier than all the other uh, female contestants here, because she's blonde like that other blonde woman from season ten, who they favorited and she got in the finals. Because Joe thought that she was attractive. Uh, so she got to stay. And then who was the other person, Safi? I don't know. Bree? Yeah, Bree, Tommy, uh, and who else? Who was the... It was uh, the... uh, Shelly. Oh, okay, yeah. And it Na was... Miss, uh, Miss Napoleon. Yeah, and she, she felt 
she really thought she was going to go. And I think what they did was they they let her stay because she had she had tried to do something that was way out of a wheelhouse and they respected her for the attempt or something. But it, it was it, it made the air yeah, hers was so hard. I mean, I don't know if I could do that. She had these like what were they supposed to be? They were Napoleons. They were the weirdest. I, I don't know. They were. They don't white. look very tasty. They were. I know. But even the ones that, that were supposed to be perfect, because they had a perfect example of each one. That's what they had to look at. Because not only, like I said, did it have taste, but it had to look like that professional one. And she, these, they had these wafers. They were rectangular, like cracker, like but they had like several layers in them and they were very compressed together I'm, I'm like god how do you even do that and I mean I would not have picked that I mean just because and so I guess and they all agreed that that was the hardest one so I think they gave her a break because she had because she uh it was way she out tried of her, yeah she tried but it was she's way more likable than the other two in the bottom yeah, she was very self-deprecating, and she, when she, she was not the one who was designated to go home. She was shocked. She was very visibly shocked because that it wasn't her. She made a horrible choice with the Napoleon, though, and uh, everyone talked about that the whole episode. Yeah. And it was sort of like, okay, we know she's going home, but then she didn't, so that was nice. I would give the episode a B plus. I thought, you know, it's just a class. It's near a classic episode. The one reason <laughs> I'm not giving it an A is because just like all the other recent episodes, we do not get to see the other people's dishes. Yeah, and they, it just seems like people get to skate by. Yeah, they're floating in the middle. Cruising. And I don't like that. I. And I don't see how they would like that either because, well, I guess they would because they wouldn't be leaving, the, you know, in case it wasn't as good as what they had hoped it would turn out to be. But, like, I was wondering how um, the guy, uh, uh, what's his name? It's Bree's friend, actually. The guy, Fred. Uh, he is a dessert maker. And he probably makes more desserts than other food in his regular life. And he's also had training from this woman who's very famous for doing what he picked to do. And so... It was like, was okay, no we're to, we're anticipating seeing his dish. Yeah, and I, we didn't get to see it. But I mean, no. they flashed it, but that doesn't mean anything to us. Because... It wasn't, what if there was anything wrong with it, it wasn't obvious. Like on Shelley's, the one who picked the most difficult one, it was a disaster and looked like one too. And Brie, you could look at it, they all knew, even, you know, they have the person who, the African-American guy who picked the people. Sabi, his to name go. is Christian. Christian, that's right. They looked down from this balcony. And, and they, they said, look, Ooh, yeah, uh. they could tell that the crust was uh, not done from up there. Yeah. So it was, I mean, it looked bad. So anyway, so it was we, shaky. We could not see Fred's, and I was cu really curious, especially, I mean, they went on and on for just a little bit about how he uh, gets his training from this lady who makes whatever he just made. And uh, so then. In, in fact, when they, they went around and evaluated everybody's desserts, like at a cursory glance, and uh, I don't even remember them doing that to his, or saying anything. They just didn't show it. Yeah, they probably just didn't show it. And like in particular, I also think like the biggest one skating, cruising, is Miss, you know, fake face. You know, oh, yeah. not Shelly, but the other black woman. Yeah. You know, I, we call her, We our nickname for her now is Fake Face. And because she has a fake face. And, you know, it seems like every episode she wants to do something really spectacular. 
and then we never get to see what turned out with it. And yeah, so, so they're, they're, they're basically floating by yeah. in the middle. While all the other people are in danger. And we don't know. We have no idea. And to me, yeah. that's not good for them either because they're not getting good feedback for their food. Yeah. So I don't think that's good for them. It's too bad they don't taste all the dishes. Maybe, <laughs> maybe they think that uh, the less dishes they taste, the less chance they'll get COVID. <laughs> All right, Safi, you think they have some know, stupid shit ass reasoning no, like I that? Think, I don't think so. It, but it was a classic episode almost because, as usual, with all these Master Chef shows, the Master Chefs are not really masters of desserts. Uh, yeah. So, so yeah, cause they. I was wondering really who. There was only one dessert there that I thought that was made by Gordon. Because uh, the person who made it, in fact, he was the last person to, who was allowed to pick, and it's really all he had to pick from. Was it wasn't or did he? Pick? It was sticky toffee pudding, which is yeah, gross. No, Sophie, it's good. I didn't think it was anyway. That's uh, Gordon's. You haven't had it. That's like Gordon's uh, uh, favorite dessert to make. Yeah, and Joe's Joe's favorite is uh, blonde women. And Gordon's favorite is sticky toffee pudding. Well, Iran didn't. So it, it led me to believe that Iran and Joe didn't make any desserts. I don't know. Maybe Chef Ramsay had made the toffee pudding. Maybe. But uh, that's what I thought out of it. Maybe and Oop. I thought, but aren't they being kind of hypocrites? Maybe Oopa Loopa's made it. They're, they're, they're expecting these people to be able to make a dessert, but they can't make one themselves. Sophie Joe can't make anything. I don't know. I thought he could. He could make Italian food. Yeah, he could make some box spaghetti. Uh, what would you rate this episode, Sophie? I'll just give it a B. Okay. I'll give it a B because of uh, that, really, that hypocritical stance about the desserts because they, they I think if they if they any of them had made the dessert themselves even Gordon he would have said so really and they didn't well yeah I think well I think definitely Gordon would because he's got that ego issue yeah you know he'd probably have a name tag on all the desserts that he made like this was prepared by chef Gordon on the 11th hour of June 26th. <laughs> well, like that's what he would do. And, and my question is, if they didn't make those desserts, <laughs> who did? Oompa Loompas. Well, I just don't like it. I think it's <laughs> hypocritical. They're expecting them to make perfect desserts, but they don't know how to make desserts themselves. Well, in fact, there was one part where Dara said that her cake was better than the cake that they made. It was straighter. The lines were straighter. And, they and, and then they're like, oh, oh, wow, you're right. And it's like, oh, wow. It's like, it was almost like they were criticizing the people who made the desserts yeah, for them. They're, like, uh, yeah. they're not only criticizing the contestants, but they're also criticizing their own staff. Yeah, I don't like that either. So that was I, weird. I, I don't like that kind of stuff. But, uh, otherwise, it was a pretty good episode. Yeah. And the person who went home was Tommy. And Tommy oh, thank just, God. Tommy, thank God. Li listen, Tommy is a nice person. And he probably does okay cooking at home when he cooks. And, because he did say he made that lemon thing at home all the time. Because that's his significant other's favorite dessert. And Marco said it was his favorite food. And the thing is, um, every week that Tommy's down, he has looked like a deer in the headlights. He's looked frightened, frazzled, and nervous wreck. And he has been called down I, at, to the worst group, in the worst group, the worst three, uh, more than once. And uh, he just does not look comfortable. He's looked uh, a nervous wreck. And I just think he just, it, and he said, too, he made a comment last night, he said, you know, I don't mind making these, uh, making uh, this dessert, 
I like to have more time. And he doesn't like being stressed and just running around and he just you can tell it just doesn't agree with them. And so it was time for him to go. Yeah. And it's nothing against him. It's just the fact that he he just did not I don't think he was comfortable. Everybody likes him. He's a very interesting uh, artistic uh person but uh as far as like doing this thing where you have to stress out over food and get it done quickly and you have to make perfect. identical copies yeah oh it's just it's just like you have who, to who you, needs it you have to be a pretty blonde so that joe will like you and so who needs it <laughs> i don't blame them because really i mean especially this thing where they're all expected to have this beautiful magnificent looking dessert uh, and ready in 60 minutes, I guess. And they themselves, the judge chefs, don't even make dessert. So, in fact, I'd love to know what, because Milan is, Milan is, uh, <laughs> you just call him Moron? Moron, Moron, I Moron. said Moron, <laughs> he's from he, Moron. He is Mexican. <laughs> And I'd be really? curious to see How do you know? what dessert he <laughs> makes, if any at all. Like, Tres leches. Well, they have that, uh... Juan. Well, that's Spain, Spanish. But it's... it's dessert. But, but he would like that. Oh, yeah, he'd like he, it, but there's... Churros! That. Well, I... Yeah. Those things just seem to have come out recently. It's the colada. Soppy, don't, don't do that. Colada fresco or whatever where you freeze the ice Soppy, cream. you don't know about Mexican food. Yeah, I do. So no anyway, way. um, no, they make this frozen, or they freeze. Donde, do donde, <laughs> donde <laughs> estas. The, they do something with the ice, with ice cream. That's donde you estas. See it at this Mexican restaurant. <laughs> And uh, I'd be just be curious, what does he make? It's Donde estas si las ma master chef este junior? Okay, moving on. So, uh, I think we're about done with doing this episode, and we're going to be... How was that, Safi? I guess reviewing... What would you grade my comprehension of the Spanish language? F one. Okay, so anyway. Uno dos tres. If you like this this video, please. I give took it a Spanish, Sophie. I took Spanish. Remember, in kindergarten, I took Spanish. Oh wow. For uh, what did you take in high school? Uh, German. German. Biatch. Years of it. Years and, and, and years guess, of it. Sophie, German food is better than Mexican food. That's not true at all. Well, that's my opinion. They're both good. Yeah, they, they both are. They have their good qualities. They are, but I, the German is superior. Okay, well, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, be one of our subscribers. We welcome all new subscribers. You can make a comment about the episode or about another cooking show if you want and about anything else we've been reviewing. We've been reviewing all kinds of yeah. Series that we are just that review, ended or are ending. We just reviewed Faithful Findings. We re reviewed weird movies. We're going to do it, which I'm not looking forward to, but I guess if you want to do it, Marco's been coming up with all these. We had to do all Tom Cruise movies, which, which we're still fit wrapping that up. Terrible. Never and, want to do that again. Uh, and then we're doing this terrible movies week, which. Why would you want to waste your time watching a terrible movie? Well, that's punishment for you holding up the channel. Uh, it's just stupid. He's giving me, because he doesn't think I move fast enough, he's giving me more work. Yeah. Which is stupid. And now you have Why a schedule. Why would you give somebody Cause you have a more schedule work now. when they already have enough to do as you, it is? Because you have a schedule. So, Safi. Okay, goodbye, goodbye everybody. Goodbye, everybody.